Hey there, bots and babes. Welcome to the 31st edition of the Misty Minute. I know I'm late, but that's because I have a big surprise for y'all. Big surprise for me that I actually put it together with the help of some wonderful people, Ron McAdams and Lynn Perletta. Uh, thank you, thank you. So, I'm happy to announce that the Misty Minute now has a Patreon page, and things are going to be changing around here on my little SOL. So, let's uh, go back to the beginning. Okay, so what do you think? I like it. Again, thank you to Ron and Lynn for helping this uh, little renovation of my SOL happen. So, again, welcome to the 31st edition of the Misty Minute. Um, I get I have launched a Patreon, and if you would like to support it, I will put the link down there in the description, of course. Feel free to follow it, check out the rewards, uh, become a Patreon. That'd be awesome. Uh, so, let's do it. Let's dive right into this edition of the Misty Minute. All right, here's what's going on in the world of the fans. Uh, this actually is a Misty who's in need of some help, and you can win some cool stuff by doing that. Our good friend Lauren Hughes um, is having some some financial issues, some financial troubles. Um, we all go through them. It happens. Life, life sucks sometimes. But uh, as Misty's we band together, and um, the beautiful Dawn has put together a several auction items that are up on eBay right now, uh, well over 30 items, uh, MST3K memorabilia, there's some Rift Track stuff, um, all kinds of cool things. So the, the auctions are live now on eBay. Um, I'll put the links down there. And of course, you know, I've tried to be sharing about it, trying to. So um, you'll want to go check that out, win some stuff, and help support Lauren. Um, online watch togethers that uh, I put together coming up Wednesday. Um, oh, things are telling me stuff. The amazing colossal watch together guide where we watch one episode a week, working our way through all of the MST. 3k um we are on to the ktma version of gamera we'll be watching that again this wednesday online in the riffing room uh link is in the description um the online watch together group every week pretty much 24 7 we're watching something somebody's in the room and they're chit-chatting uh but on the weekends we have themes and this weekend it's 420 man so we're gonna get a little psychedelic on friday on the 21st we're gonna watch some kaiju movies and then the 22nd we will celebrate rebecca hansen's birthday Day with a gotta love gypsy theme and Rebecca herself will be popping into the room and chatting along with us and watching I don't know when don't know anything beyond that uh, but she will be there super excited for that now here's some um, things that are kind of I don't know <laughs> Forget all that. Let's talk about Robot Co-op and Agony Wolf Media. Um, they have, they do, they've done riffing. They do, they've done shorts. They've done full length things. Some of the latest stuff they're working on right now is riffing through video games, and they do some live riffing uh, via Twitch. It's really fun to join in and chat with other fans while they're playing through these video games. They have a live Twitch stream coming up this Friday. I will be there chatting along with y'all. Uh, they're going to be playing uh, God of War. So, um, you know, if you want to see a robot and a dude. Uh, who are, you know, in the zombie apocalypse play a game about a god, then you'll want to join in. Definitely come join us for that. Um, the Revival League podcast, they recently, oh, well, actually, I helped recently interview Joseph Beasley, who was the creator of the MST3K Lego set that was part of the Lego Ideas um, on their website. And I uh, got enough fan votes, though, so now the uh, Lego will actually take a look at it. So there's an interview with him. Myself and Ron interviewed him. And, um, of course, they have their uh, original radio plays. And there's one coming up for Easter, just in time for Easter, uh, written by my good friend Rob uh, with two Bs, and that is going to be coming out real soon, real fun, part of it, myself am I, got a little Yoda for you there. Um, in the UK, hey, 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 the Mads are coming, hopefully you already know this, May 5th, they will be at the Sci-Fi uh, London Festival doing live riffing, um, tickets are available, and pretty sure, yeah, you'll get to meet the Mads, Frank and Trace, super nice, as you guys already know. Here's some Misty meetups that are happening um, here stateside where people actually do meet up. Uh, Midnight MST3K in Fairfax, Virginia uh, is happening on May 4th. They're over there. They get to watch movies like actually in a theater. So that's really cool. Um, let's see. St. Louis has a meetup group and they'll be meeting this month on Friday, April 27th. Uh, the Portland meetup group. I think I saw they're going to be watching Master Ninja uh, Wednesday, April 25th. And Columbus, Ohio. Uh, it's actually tonight. Sorry. Uh, but I did post about 
excited. They're going to be, they're watching through season 11. They're going to be watching Younger Re. Uh, now here's real cool, fun stuff. Again, live riffing, but these are with um, uh, not name people. And that's even cooler because these are fans just like us. Um, there's a group called Down in Front in Chicago, Illinois, and they do a monthly live riffing. Um, but one of the really cool things that we just found out about is A, they have a Patreon. So we're all about Patreon. Go visit them, support them. I do. Um, they will be riffing along with Jonah Ray when he comes to Chicago at the end of the month. How cool is that? So if you're in Chicago, definitely go check them out. On Thursday, before 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 Jonah gets there, they're going to have a riff along, so you can come try your riffing chops. And then again, they'll be riffing with Jonah Ray on the 27th or, or 28th. I, I'll find out which day it is exactly. Um, and then on Tuesday, May 1st, they'll be riffing through Batman Forever. Another group of uh, riffers, Cinemasochist, I had the pleasure of meeting a few of them in Can when I was in Kansas City on April 10th, which is a Tuesday. They're going to be riffing through Catwoman. Well, does that already happen? Oh, I guess that already happened. Man, I don't even know what day it is, y'all. I can't even. So, <laughs> Cinemasochist, I'll get the latest info for you. Uh, if you're in Atlanta, Georgia, Cineprov is the group there. They're be riffing Hercules in the Haunted World on May 3rd. I've never seen that one, so um, I may have to try to look that one up on YouTube. Andy Hoosel. Um, and then if you're in Denver, Colorado on Friday, man, they're going to be riffing through Grease too. the Mile High uh, movie roast group there. Um, let's see. Of course, you can uh, participate in the postcard exchange that I put together every month. Send cards with Missy's around the world. Um, that's it for the fans. That's a lot. Whew, I talked for six minutes. I need a breather. <laughs> Okay, let's talk about what's happening with the cast and crew. I'm pretty much going to have to start a segment called Manos because there's so many cool things that happen within the world of Manos, the Hands of Fate. One of them, of course, as you know, is uh, Jackie Naman Jones, who played Debbie in the Manos Hands of Fate and uh, has now starred in Manos Returns. And it is making its debut in uh, Crypticon in Seattle on May 4th. I believe there are still tickets available for that. Um, I'm not sure how it works, but you will get to meet Jackie and the director and other, I'm assuming, other cast members. So that's really cool. I wish I could go up there to Seattle. And Jackie has a podcast as well with the ladies from that uh, did the Manos Returns. It's called Jackie. Jackie's Hand of Horror, so you'll want to go give that a listen. Uh, recently, I uh, found out about a project that apparently has been going on since 2012. Neom! Uh, um, there is a uh, talk show called Talk to the Hand, and it is Manos-based, and uh, the gentleman who does it, Keith, I'm going to butcher your last name, so I'm not even going to say it, uh, Keith runs this really cool um, uh, talk show, and it's on YouTube. Uh, he's obviously talked with Jackie uh, Naiman. He's talked with uh, the master, Tom uh, Naiman not Nick. He talked to the master before he passed, and uh, he's going to have future episodes, so you'll want to go check that out. I got the links down there to YouTube. It's really cool. Um, so again, yeah, I'm going to have to have a whole Manos section where I talk about Manos things. Oh, yeah, Keith's the guy who also put out the uh, Manos coloring book. Duh. Oh, okay, let's see what else is happening. Riff Tracks. Of course, we have Space Mutiny coming up on June 14th. Uh, tickets are now on sale, so you can pick those up for your local theaters. That's going to be broadcast, too. Uh, they did a full-length uh, feature of Dark Four. Future, Dark Future. Dark Future Feature. Uh, of course, in the shower... Sh the shorts, Mary Jo and uh, Bridget have the spring collection and farm family in spring. Springtime everywhere, even though it's snowing. Let's see, the 372 page back, pages we will never get back. That is, of course, Michael J. Nelson and Connor Lestoka. They have a podcast where they have read through some books. They recently did a live podcast uh, in Minneapolis and I think... Wherever it was, it's over now. Sorry, we're moving on to Mary Jo is part of a podcast called uh, Third and Forty, uh, where they talk about sports. Uh, Frank Conniff has some books, and uh, he had his first annual um, open riff night there in Astoria, Oregon, at the QED. Apparently, it went really well. I some of the folks from my singles group were able to go, um, and it's going to be a monthly thing. So the next one will be May 9th. So mark your calendar for that. The Mads are back, and they have released a whole bunch of new dates that they're going to be around. I saw Columbus. I saw Denver. Uh, I saw lots of fun stuff. Um, the next one coming.
coming up soonest is May 1st, and that is in Salt Lake City, Utah. And then, boop, they're over across the pond to the uh, to, to London. So, super excited. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Uh, I'm so happy for y'all. Um, they have a, a podcast as well called Movie Sign with the Mads uh, with Carolina Hildago. And the latest one was they talked about Ready Player One. That has been on everyone's lips lately. I'm not going to go see it. That's just me. Jonah Ray, oh my goodness, uh, tonight, 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 um, probably won't even get this episode out in time, but Jonah Ray, uh, Patton Oswald, uh, Rebecca Hansen, Hampton Yunt, uh, Elliot Callan, uh, everybody, uh, lots of people from season 11 are going to be at a DVD signing in Burbank, if you are there, go see them, uh, Jonah's doing some touring as well, he's going to be in Nashville April 21st, and then like I mentioned earlier, he's going to be in Chicago for two days doing, uh, his, his tour festival of me. He's going to be doing stand-up, live riffing, and recording podcasts. His podcast is called Jonah Radio, and they talk about music. Uh, he releases a new one all the time. And if you didn't already know, he's going to be at Dragon Con in Atlanta this year with Felicia Day as well. She will be there. Hampton Young, again, he's going to be there tonight. He has a podcast called Suicide Buddies. Baron Vaughn, oh, I, he probably has a podcast too, but I haven't found out about it. But I do know he is working on a show called uh, The New Negroes that is going to be on um, Comedy Central. Anyways, it's filming and there's tickets and you can pick it up. So yeah, it's Comedy Central. I don't know why I wrote Netflix, but Comedy Central, just follow the link, all the info. Uh, Felicia Day, she's all over the place with her... Uh, with her comic cons but the ones that we'll probably be able to go to here in the states she's gonna be in honolulu in august she's gonna be in dragon con and she's gonna be at the rose city comic con in september uh pat noswell again gonna be at that signing tonight oh and record store day is coming up he's gonna be at amoeba music for record store day I don't know what that is, but apparently it's a thing. Um, and then good old Grandpa Choco, who uh, is Mr. Waverly. He has his uh, Saturday morning YouTube, Saturday morning media YouTube uh, series and his videos and his little toilet tea paper. Uh, that's all happening over there as well. Oh, Harmar Superstar, who was the uh, voice of season 11's theme song. He is going to be in Denver July 26th, and he's going to be singing Sam Cooke. He's got the info down there if you want to go check that out. Okay, let's talk about some merchandise real quick. Uh, of course, you know about the official MST3K trading cards, because hopefully you've seen my unboxing videos. Uh, they are through RR Parks, and if you want to get some, you should pick them up now before they sell out. Over at the MST3K store, they have that record slip mat, so I guess if you don't want to buy the record and get it too, you can now just buy the cover. Not quite sure. Again, I don't understand how vinyl works. Um, I'm kidding. I totally do. But um, they've got some cool stuff over there in the merch store. Shout Factory. Uh, of course, they've got box sets, DVDs. Oh, I actually I think Season 11 comes out on DVD today. Hello, duh. There's a signing for it. Of course. So, um, yeah, you'll want to well, check that out. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, over at Think Geek, they've got all kinds of cool stuff. Zen Monkey Studios has shirts and pens. I'm actually not even wearing mine today. Oh, what am I doing? So, I got a lot of stuff to talk about. I got a lot of stuff to do. I actually have to get to my paying job. <laughs> so, I'll leave you guys. Thanks so much for watching. I feel like I'm yelling. I can't control the volume of my voice. Love and rips. Captain Dolphin out.